After Donald Trump's historic indictment, a well-known disinformation tracking group says there are no credible threats of violence or plans for large demonstrations as of now. But some on the far right, including Marjorie Taylor Greene, are encouraging protests. NBC News national security analyst Frank Figluzzi is with us. He is also the former assistant director for the FBI. Frank, you track this stuff. What do you think we're in for? So here's my uh, my caution to law enforcement and to everyone, really, that this is a security marathon, not a sprint. I say that because it's very, very early. And while all eyes are focused on New York City right now for Tuesday, let's understand something. We're, we're in for a protracted trial in this Manhattan case. And then even later, we're in for possible charges in Fulton County, Georgia. And then perhaps even later, we're in for federal charges in two separate grand jury cases. So everyone needs to understand that, yes, we need to get through Tuesday and next week, of course, but we are in for the long haul. And I, when I say we, we as a nation, we as a law enforcement community, is we're in for a stress test, a lot like bank regulars, like regulators do with banks to see if they can handle stressors and instability in the finance and economic world. We're doing that right now as NYPD, the FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force, the DHS, all collecting intelligence. Good news, Stephanie, they've got a better handle after January 6 on the known violent extremist groups, Proud Boys, Oath Keepers, even Three Percenters. What concerns me the most is people riling up loan offenders. Loan offenders only have to get it right once. The FBI needs to get it right every single day. Those loan offenders are often wound up and worked into a frenzy online. And that starts with conspiracy theorists pushing lies that get bigger and bigger. Are you watching for that now? Because there's a lot of people using the internet to come up with all sorts of explanations that make no sense for what's going on, for an indictment that, again, is sealed. Yeah, chief among the, the disinformation, the conspiracy theories is, of course, that some, a couple of things. One, the federal government, the DOJ, somehow has ordered the Manhattan DA to do this. That simply is ignorance of how the system works. But no one lets facts get in the way of a perfectly good conspiracy theory. The other thing that's, that's troubling is this attack on George Soros, that he's behind everything that's wrong with, with Trump world, and, and that somehow he he donated money specifically to Alvin Bragg, and he's making this happen. When the facts are, what we know is that George Soros has never directly donated money to Alvin Bragg, but rather to a group called the, the Color of Change, which ended up giving some money to Alvin Bragg, but he's never even met or communicated with Alvin Bragg. So again, what's our job? I think keep putting the facts out there, counter the disinformation. And that's why we bring you on, to tell our audience the truth. Facts is what you're going to get every night. Frank Fugluzzi, thank you for closing out this very big and important week for us. And on that note, I wish everyone watching a good and safe night.